Hey guys, this is the Fire Temple. I'm really excited about this one. If you watched the prequel, you saw that we got several heart pieces. The Bolero of Fire, we learned that. And also we got the Goron Tunic, which protects us against fire and flames and lava. Something we definitely need as we venture into the heat zone. That is the Fire Temple. We have a bunch of Gorons to save, some flare dancers, some floor tiles, some... And finally, you know what? The dragon. Doesn't matter what the other things are. Nothing more classic in literature and storytelling than a boy grows up to fight and defeat a dragon. And tonight, Link will do just that. So guys, I'm really excited. Thank you for joining me for the Fire Temple. Thank you for watching. This is Loud Boy. Let's go get him. So first off, we're in this big chamber. A couple of fire keys up there. And there's someone really important we need to meet. Alright, one down. Looks like the other one's not going to bother me. That's good. And there he is. Who's there? Is that you, Link? Oh, it really is Link. You've grown so big since I last saw you. I want to have a man-to-man -man talk with you, but now's not the time. Ganondorf is causing trouble on Death Mountain again. He's revived the evil ancient dragon, Volvagia. On top of that, he is going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to the other races who might resist him. If that fire-breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all of Hyrule be will become a burning wasteland. I will go on ahead and try to seal up the evil dragon. I'm concerned though, because I don't have the legendary hammer. Foreshadowing, but I have no choice. Link, I'm asking you to do this as my sworn brother. While I'm trying to deal with the evil dragon, please save my people. The prisoner cells are in the opposite direction, and I'm counting on you, Link. That is a little bit of misdirection, because right here in this room, is the very first prisoner. Okay, it's over here to the left. That down there is lava. And <laughs> as an illustration, I fell in. It actually doesn't isn't that harmful, especially with this tunic. So as I said, here's our first one. Let's go talk to him. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. In order to get into the room where Dodonia went, you have to do something about the pillars stuck in the ceiling. Find the path that leads to the room above the ceiling right away. So, right away, we uh, have a little hint of what we need to do, although that's still a ways off. And there's our first small key. First, like, like all the dungeons, there are several keys that we must obtain. This is kind of all we need to do in this room. Hey, good jump there. Um, now, if you're playing this on your own, man, my nose is itchy. <laughs> um, over here, if you look up on that platform up there, there are two to three to maybe four fairies. I'm all tanked up right now. I've got three bottles worth. However, I know they're there in case I need them. So I just want to let you know that's there. So we're going to use our first key straight across and unlock this door. Now this is the massive room. Eventually, yes, the pillar will come crashing down. Well, in the other room. But uh, there is way up above here. Uh, if you fall, it's quite the fall. And it is very possible to do so. Because there's this really kind of scary ledge that uh, hangs up above there. So right away without too much hassle we can go in this door right here and guess who's waiting for us that's right another prisoner that Ganondorf's a really sweet guy isn't he are you releasing me am I free to go here's a secret for saving me a wall that you can destroy with Goron's special crop bombs will sound different than regular if you hit it with your sword 
So he's letting us know, actually a hint for the room that's across this very chamber in which we're standing. And there is another small key. Definitely gonna need that. We have several locked doors up ahead that we need to get through. So, as you know, I have a legendary memory. And what is it? Right A down? Let me see if my memory serves correctly. Let's see. Right A down. Sweet. Okay. So taking out our ocarina. Play the song of time. There is a time block right above this very door in which we save the Goron. By playing the song of time, it moves this time block down, allowing us into this room. This is basically called the tile room. Why? Well, a bunch of tiles shoot at us. My strategy is I just stand here with my shield up and let them come flying at me. I don't really care to run around or go ahead and deal with them. You can, you can hit them with a sword. So next up, what do I need? I need to get out my lovely fairy bow and take care of this like-like over there. And there we go. Thank you for the rupees. So, some people hit this with a sword. I like to use my hook shot. Takes care of them real easily. And then I can use it to retrieve it when I'm done. All right. Why do we go to that room? To get the gold scotella. Done and done. All right, so now we got to head across this very room. Trying not to get hit too many times. Oh, that guy actually kind of helped me <laughs> make that jump. All right, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, would you get up there? Come on, Link. You're a better climber than this. I've got fire keys right on my butt. Okay, we're okay. All right. Remember Goron's special crop in the weird walls? Well, here's a good example. Taking out a bomb. Placing it next to this, blows away the false wall, allowing us to enter, and guess who's waiting for us? That's right, another Goron. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? And I'll tell you a secret for saving me. There are switches, not Nintendo switches. Okay, La last bad joke tonight. I, I promise, I hope. Uh, that you have to cut to activate, but you can also use Goron Special Crop to do the job. Yeah, he's talking about these little crystal switches. You can activate them. I, in this one in particular, I like to use my hook shot. Just what I do. You can drop a bomb. You'll see. Again, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. Now, there is a ledge. Is it up here? I have to press this one. Uh, let's see, where's that ledge? It's kind of like a little hidden ledge up above, and you can ride these things up toward it. Not too necessary. It's basically possibly a couple of arrows and maybe a couple of rupees. Not too interested right now. So, right, we have two keys, which are going to come in very handy here. Actually, I wanted to use this other method. Oh, well. Uh, I, there is another method I could have used there, but guess what? You can use your hook shot on this kind of chain fence looking stuff. And basically, once I get here, target lock these suckers. A couple of keys waiting for us. Thank you for the hearts. All right, now that we've got that, we jump down. We need to turn this block into a makeshift elevator, okay? There's that giant column of fire. Well, that column of fire will push this block up like an elevator. Going up. That's right. Here we are. And this will do our second key. This room, okay, no, it's not, all right, we're in this room, all right. I'm getting ahead of myself again. All right, 
this is a room that has one of those switches that the Goron was speaking. Um, the gist here is, again, moving blocks, activating switches solves the puzzle. In this case, we move this block over here because we need to get up above and have access. But the only way to get to this chain link fence is to move this block like this. can't use your oh good job oh, i love auto jump it's your friend until it isn't and like what was i just saying you know that that's a a lovely feature that they finally added in breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom uh the ability with well, actual jump button right uh because no yeah, so check it out up here See that column, that wall of fire protecting the fence? Well, we need to deactivate that, and it's on a timer. So, down here to my left, right near my ruby count, ruby count, uh, you can, there's a crystal switch. I use my hookshot for it. Just what I've been doing for almost 30 years. And, uh, again, we're on a timer. You hear it clicking away? And now it's back. So, basically, that fire... It was turned off for a moment's time, allowing us just enough time to get in there. This room, man, if you haven't played this game much, it's uh, it still kind of annoys me. It's got two levels, kind of a crescent shape, and maze-like, and along the outer sides there's a couple of Gorons with more chests with a couple keys. Also a hidden wall. And in that hidden wall, we have a Skulltella. So, let's make our way around. Also, moving boulders as well. Oh, and there, there's one. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite normal for... Let's see, is this the wall? It may not be the wall. Let's see if it's the wall. That's not the wall. Ah! Okay, I'm really in the wow, I am super turned around. Okay. I went to that door that door way too early. Alright. In this uh, uh Man, I am best friends with those boulders now, aren't I? Okay, so here's uh here's Goron one. Wake up, man. You're free. Are you rescued? Alright, am I free to go? Yeah. Let me tell you a secret. A reward for releasing me. When you're on fire, you can put it out by swinging your sword or by rolling forward. Did you know that? Right. We'll make him feel good. Yeah, no, I didn't know that. Thank you. All right. And we got another key. Beauty. Okay, next up. Heading to our left. Try not to hit too many boulders on the way. I'm really cavalier. All right, here we go. I believe this is the wall. Boom. All right, hook shot. This is my tool of choice. Okay. Now, on the other side of this room, we don't even have a map or a compass yet. So it's really... Uh, you either just kind of have to fake your way through here or know your way. So, oh, thank you. All right. On the other side, there we go. Sneak on through. Switch. Hello, little guy. Yes, you're free to go. But you're going to tell me a secret, aren't you? Okay, fine. In this temple, there are doors that fall down when you try to open them. When one of these doors starts to fall, move. If you use a sample of Goron Special Crop, you can break it. You'd think this guy was from California or something when you talk about the special crop. Man, he's talking about bombs. And I make bad jokes. I get paid for it. All right, and we have another small key. Okay. We have two keys. 
We're going to use one of them on this door. After this next session, section, it's going to be very essential. All right. Remember what I was talking about. All right. Check this out. Down way below. That's that room with the bridge and the two Gorons on each side. Right? You know, the, the one after the main first chamber. Um, yeah. If you fall, you fall there. And it's quite the fall. So, guess what? I really don't want to fall. Because then I'll have to make my way all the way back up. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. There's bars on that door. How do we get in there? Guess what? There's a switch. Okay. Taking out a bow and arrow. Shooting the eye. Just a switch. Boom. And guess what's in here? We've got a map. That's right, people. We have a map. Yay. <clears throat> all right. This is all barred off, though, okay? This is just one little section that has the map. And boom, bars down again. Okay. We have one key left, don't we? Okay, let's use that key. We go right to our right. Boom. And open this door. Okay. This is kind of a cool room. A wall... Well, man, I, I, keep, I keep ruining all the spoilers. You'll see. Let's just say something's going to be chasing me. That's right. We better run. Okay. Yeah, there's a wall of fire. Okay, seriously. Wow. You, the game really doesn't like me today. And we're running, and we're running, and we're running, and we're running. Doesn't look like you can make it, but you will make it across that. And we're running, and we're running, and we're running. Boom. Thank you for the heart. Made it to the other side. It's really not that scary, but... It's actually kind of fun. That is how you get to the top part of this dungeon. Right there. We're actually above the boulder maze, okay? We're, we're on the top part. And... Let's get out a bomb, because I see something that can be bombed. Come here, little... Did I kill it? What, what are you, in limbo or something? Do not fall! <laughs> oh, look at that. It is so... This is a glitch. This is really cool, actually. That right there is a glitch. Okay. Yes, I do too. Um, that is a cool glitch. I'm loving that. But all things must end. Okay, we're gonna ease our way down. I could be really cavalier and just jump, but Saving my hearts, just for now. I know, right? Loud boy playing it safe, not in kamikaze mode. Something must be wrong with him. Because normally I'm just like, let's just go, you know? Let the cards fall where they may. All right, we're, now guess what? When we first entered that room with the switch, we had to climb a couple levels, move the block, uh, get rid of the, uh... anyway, this is, back to that area. However, if you ever need to go from one part of the dungeon to another, or at least go from one floor to the next of the, the, of the uh, boulder room, this is a shortcut. So what we're doing right now is opening up a shortcut. And as usual, I have another tip. Somewhere in this temple, uh, you're sure to meet up with some creatures that dance as they attack. Oh, those guys. You'll see. Arrows will not hurt them. Yeah, you, you guys will see. Special crop. These guys are all about the special crop, aren't they? Alright. This. Don't walk away. Get the key. Oh. Nothing worse than getting stuck in a section 
and realizing like, oh crap, I'm out of keys. And there's a locked door in front of you, you just want to keep, it's the worst. Okay, we are ascending to the top part of that boulder room again. You know, the one where five boulders hit me, yeah, that, yeah. Ah, you're back. It's the limbo dude. Okay, really? R really? You can do me like that, you piece of... All right, so let's make our way over. Yeah, it doesn't feel like we're going to make that jump either. Hello, bud. Okay. I see you over there, man. I'm coming, I'm coming. Guess what I'm not going to do? Jump with a boulder nearby. Sweet! Okay. Brings us back up to two keys. Being careful not to fall again. Alright, nice. Okay. There are times where I've used that other, right, right over there, um, and carefully walked on that narrow path. I, these days, no, just uh, I use, I go this way. You can actually kind of just run, hoping and praying that the auto jump will do you right. Like that. There we go. Chris, you guys know what I'm talking about with auto jump, right? Okay. Um, Oh, yes. This is where... Right up here. See how uh, how he's green? Alright. Oh, that was annoying. Alright, so we're, we're back in the, uh, the room with the wall of fire that chases us. Before, we just um, went around the outskirts of the room, right? This time... We are doing something different, and believe it or not, okay, nope, nope, let's try this again, and it got us again, okay, this is an embarrassment of riches, All right? they are, okay, they are forcing me to do this, is it still coming, you've got to be kidding. Super annoying. Wall of fire. All right, so this seems like an impossible jump, but it is a jump you can make right there. Okay, um, that part of the grate will actually allow you to jump to that platform. Yeah, it's kind of in the middle of the crescent room, and uh, and that's what that does. So. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the right. This room has all kinds of stuff that can kill you. Or at least take your heart. So thank you for giving me one. Uh, one of which are these invisible. There you go. They're invisible until they're not walls of fire. Okay. Entering the door. What do we have? Let's check it out. Finally, a compass. Yeah, man. Just like last time with the forest temple, this is a long time till you get that compass. Hello, Mr. Boulder. All right, so careful to avoid all these uh, walls of flame. Here, I can't remember. Is this one open? It is, okay. Oh, it's not so open, is it? Closed, closed, closed. Oh. Mm. Closed, okay. Killing the keys. Come on, give me that heart. Give me the heart. Thank you. 
That seems like a fake door. Nope. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I knew that was a fake door. Okay. Alright, so we got our compass. Now we're going to make our way to the other side of the room. Careful to avoid all the walls of fire. You just kind of carefully kind of walk toward it and not too bad. Um, okay. Yeah, that's the wall, isn't it? Yeah, that's the wall. We have a locked door there. That, that's the center of this room. Okay, seriously? Don't do what I do. Okay? I mean, seriously, I, uh... Would you stop at the fire? Fine, you're not gonna stop at the fire. Thank you. Hard time. Thank you. Alright. <clears throat> Avoiding the fire. Because, you know, fire bad. Caveman say. Um, open, open, open. There it is. Unlocking the door. Okay. This room actually has a time block in it that we can use to uh, bring down to the floor. I'm waiting for... Come on, Navi. What are you going to do? Navi? She will turn green. Oh, yeah. The time block's right up there. Oh, oh, there, she's green. Uh, oh. That actually brings the block down to this level, allowing us access up here. And there's a switch over there, but I believe that is a rusted switch stuck that you cannot stand on. Yep. It looks rusted. Thank you. All right. So yeah, yeah, check it out. We cannot activate this one yet. It is rusted. So for now, we move on. Here's a really cool weapon slash tool that we can use. And hopefully we'll get that soon. Oh, darn it, I want to hit him. Okay. Yeah, do, do, do. Wall, yeah, wall. Fire. Shocker. Oh, yes, okay, so this is this is actually kind of cool. This is actually, all right. This switch drops the wall of fire, and you have to go the right way. Before the fire comes back, this is the right way, and we're through. If you try any other direction, you'll hit one of those other invisible till they're not walls of fire. Eh, don't hit that. Man, I always stink at hitting these guys. Um, I did the wrong slash. Oh, okay, check it out. That fake door. But what did we learn from our little friend over there? We blow up the fake door. And we get to the real one. Dun dun dun! Mini boss time! Oh right, yeah, these guys are kinda cool. Uh, it might help if you have your uh, shield up. I'm trying to get lock on him. There we go. I'm gonna lock. Okay. Mm. Okay. I'm doing this all wrong. I'm forgetting the water. Okay. Ha! I'll get it when it says, trust me. Okay, here we go. Hello? 
last one, didn't I? Okay. That's the gist, okay? Um, don't be a, 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 a dummy like me. And, and uh, have your shield up. Oh, except for here. That's where... It, It was it was stuck in crouch mode. Okay. Wow. My controller got stuck. That was not me. That was really weird. It was like that was I've never seen that before. Yes, my, my, my controller is getting... Hello, Nintendo. This is your fault. Thanks for, uh... Wow. Yeah, my controller got stuck in, like, a, a crouch position. It's super annoying. Equipment malfunction. Hello, little guy. Oh, darn it. Come on, get back here. Now oh, he's gonna go back again. Yeah, here he's back. Alright. Moving on. when the Goron said that one of the enemies dances. That's what he was talking about. Like a fire dancer. Kind of thing. Alright, here we go. This is another activate the switch wall of fire deal. This may actually be a good time for a bomb. bomb lets you have a little bit of time between the drop and the um, this is a tricky part it, the drop and the activation of the switch you know being in the wall of fire this is tricky sometimes I'll get it one take sometimes I'll fall four times and hopefully not to the right the right is a really really long fall yeah, if you're afraid of heights, um, my dad is. He would love this party, I'm sure. In fact, I, he's played Ocarina. My dad's, you know, pretty old dude, as if I'm not. Uh, but anyway, you know, even my wife played it. I think I've shared this before, if I haven't. Um, when she was pregnant with her first kid, Ethan, who's a mega amazing gamer now. He's in college and... Oh, yeah. Um... I'm telling stories, Keith. Go on. And we're off to the races. We're off to the... No, you don't. Races. So 
So sometimes she... One take. It's so annoying. Though. The Megatron, Megaton, Megaton Hammer, I Megatron. Transformer much? Oh. One of my favorite toys. He's always in the background here. Check him out. Yeah. This is uh, Starfire, I think. Yep. One of the Autobots. He turns into a sweet F-16 uh, fighter jet. But uh, I love, love this Transformer. Love this Transformer. Speaking of, and also one Christmas, my dad, Santa, uh, drove several hours just to get me Optimus Prime. This is an original, multiple decade old Optimus Prime. That's right. So yeah, these these are some of my prized possessions back here. There's a Voltron back here as well. Um, more later on the toy front, but this is the Megaton Hammer. And oh, it's a sweet tool. Let's activate that puppy right now. There we go. Yes, we're saving. So yeah, my wife, she played when my son was um, in her old belly and she, uh, while well, she was pregnant with him. And why am I going this way like a moron? Let's just drop down or drop over here. There we go. Um, yeah, she got all the way up to the water temple. Mm-hmm. That's some pretty good stuff. And, and I don't blame her for going like, going like, all right, I give up water temple. Water temple's a bear. As you guys know, if you play it, if you haven't, You'll find out if you ever do play it. And we're going down. This tool is awesome. Okay, so yeah, this is the Megaton Hammer. Okay. With it, you can just bash the crap out of enemies. Like dragons. For uh, Or bricks. Giant Egyptian looking bricks in this fire temple. Okay. Um, oh, hello, Mr. Keys. You get out of here. Give me some hearts. Give me some hearts. I'm gonna try. Okay. Um, oh yeah. This is actually cool. Watch this. Use the hammer. Oh crap. Oh, hold up. Hold up. There we go. And it just bashes the floor. So cool. Oh, would you? Thank you for the heart. Since you took one from me a moment ago. Piece of crap. All right. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't. He's on fire again. Why am I spending so much time on these guys? Well, I don't want them to hurt me. All right. So we pick up these cool little blocks and we descend this time. Going down, going down, going down. Fire keeps behind us. Darn it. I wanted to get him before he got me. Give me a heart, give me a heart, give me a heart. I'll take arrows. Oh, shoot. My brick went away. So, yeah, we brought that little uh, block down to uh, put on that switch is one that has to be kind of like in uh, Lord Jabba Jabba's belly. And same in this room. So all the way back up again. I can't believe that disappeared. But hey, it's the first time I've ever kind of thrown it away like that. So I didn't know. All right, so we need to weigh this switch down like so. Opening the door. And here we go again. Hey, it looks familiar. What do we do? It's hammer time. Hammer dropping. Boom. Okay, so check it out. We were just way up above the... Do, all right, do not stand on this, but do hit it. We just did something really big right here. We dropped one of the couple spikes that we need. Uh, so what's happening is we are up above that chamber where we met Dodonio. 
the Goron King, and you know we couldn't go straight across to get him. There, it's just you know you can't navigate that. This lava and the ledges are too high, so we're dropping these pillars down so we can then make our way across with the boss key, go through and get to the boss. So that's that's kind of the uh, the big picture puzzle of this section. That's a rusty switch. Opens a door. And guess where we're at? We're at that little mini room where the, the uh, time block was. Well, guess what? Remember we saw this rusty switch? We now have a camera. So, we can use it. This sucker takes care of almost everything. This It's like a Ginzu knife. has all kinds of purposes. Yes, you're free to go. And I'll tell you a secret for saving me. A door hidden inside the statue at the entrance to this temple. Oh, that's right. Uh, but, this, but the Goron's special crop won't work on it. Do you have anything stronger? Content. Um... So yes, there is a door, and we can get to it now that we have a hammer. So now we have that small key. Betty Noise. Um, right up here, we have this door. This door gives us access to... I gotta go that way. Thank you. Guess who's turning around? Yeah, this guy. All right. Boulder. Of course, those boulders are impervious to the fire that will hurt us. And we have boulders, we have keys, and we have firewalls. And nothing, that's not too bad, huh? Oh my goodness, are you serious right now? Okay. So there's the boss key, but we have something to do first. We haven't used any of our fairies, so we don't exactly need to tang up on those. However, there's some unfinished business in this first room, the very first room. As you can see, there was a, the boss key chest right over there. Megatron, 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 Megaton hammer. There we go. Using a key, open the door. Okay. Right away, we have several enemies to defend. Thank you. Feeding all the enemies opens up the door, <clears throat> and we go through second tile room. Shield out. A 
let's get that bow. Killing the light fight. Thank you for the rupee. My favorite tool, the hook shot. And the gold skull toe, thank you very much. Going in this room now. And here we go again. Mini boss number two. Alright, keep trying to do a power slash on him. Then, Your master. <clears throat> I'll be waiting for you guys. All right, come on up, come on up. There we go. Coming back around. bombs. Okay. We are on the other side. Nice, huh? We couldn't get to it. We had to go all the way around. Tile room, fire dancer, all the slugs and keys. Anyway, you work your way. You work your way. Let's talk to this guy. Yes, you're free to go. Oh, I see. Big brother. Ask you to rescue me, and I owe big time. Oh, please help, big brother. You got it, dude. We are on the case. Why do you think we're here? We are the saviors of Hyrule. All right. You know what this means. Big, elaborate, blue and yellow chest. That's right. It's the boss key. Now that we have it, it is time. To slay the dragon. And I went the wrong way. Oh, did I? Yeah. And I'm gonna stop talking like this soon. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Little quicker. Why backtrack when we can just come right here? Okay, back to the main room. That right down there is how we entered. And this is how we'll leave through the dragon to the left that chamber that we first went to with uh, our friend across the way double check here yep I'll full up on um, on fairies that's good off we go we are standing on the very pillar okay this big stone spike right up there is the room, the crescent-shaped room, uh, most of them are kind of crescent-shaped. This whole thing is kind of a multi-level tower, and you wind your way up. It was the hammer at the top. Um, so the point is, 
that room with all the boulders and the visible walls of fire and stuff like that. In the when you saw me hit the, the big spike, well, when we did that, it fell right here. And like I mentioned before, allowing us access to this very door to which we could not get before. This is it. Big old time. I like this guy. Meaning I enjoy this battle. I always have. you can get some few good shots in or at least one good shot with your arrow as he flies over it. So I'm going to be doing kind of a pattern of that back and forth. And this is where I place peekaboo. Hearts back because I can't stand that noise. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Now I don't want to hear that. <laughs> oh. So poetic, so beautiful. That's right. Into the portal. So good. Ah. This is vibrating like crazy, by the way. You guys hear it? Yeah. The mystical evil crap around uh, Death Mountain is no more. There he is. 
our sworn brother. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. I thank you on behalf of the entire Goron race. You turned out to be a real man, and just as I thought you would. By the way, I, the Wild Dunduya, I always say his name wrong, turned out to be the great Sage of Fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Hey, brother, take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the fire spirits and my friendship. Ah, love it. I love this game so much. So good. You receive the fire medallion. Dardunia awakes as a sage and he adds his power to yours. Sweet. Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. Pretty cool, huh? Really cool. Well, we did it. Check it out. So far, we have gotten the light, forest, and now fire medallion. Which, guess what? That means that water is next. And water is a tough one. Yeah, it's... Uh, I think I kind of agreed upon by most that the water can be the trickiest of the temples. Um, most recently when I played, I made some real breakthroughs though, uh, with regard to how I understand uh, that temple, you know, my, my general understanding of it. Uh, there's some cool stuff we can do now that we have the hammer. It opens up sections of this whole region. Um, and, and we'll, we'll do that next time. And I'll show you guys some of that. Um, but for now, we're going to kind of, we're going to sign off. But what I'm talking about now that we have the hammer, boulders are no longer an issue. Most boulders. Um, see, we have access to this little grove there. Also, we, it opens up access to some other places, like right here. We did not have ability to get to this section of Death Mountain Crater. But now, just wipe that. I mean, these bombs don't work, okay? Bombs don't work on these. Megatron, Megat Megatron, I did it again. The Megaton Hammer. No problem. Okay, it's made for this. Yeah, it can also open up some uh, some of the uh, what do you call it? The you know the holes in the ground for layman's yeah, um, and uh, in some cases. Uh, but yeah, I mean it opens up all kinds of stuff. This also gives us access to a couple of goals called Tullas on Death Mountain as well. I'll check that out. Hammer won't work there, but a bomb will. Okay, well, that's one of those. Oh, this is kind of fun, though. You can, um, these seeing stones. You can just smash the crud out of them. Which is kind of funny. Uh... Yeah, you can just kind of wipe them out. So, yeah, yeah, the hammer opens up a lot of cool stuff for us. And, uh, especially in this section. Yeah. 
Well, that being said, let's go out. Let's find some sunlight. Get out of this lovely crater in which we've been stuck for a while now. Taking care of business. And let's see. And yeah, when we were a kid, there's a skull teller there. Um, but here we are. And there's our big friend. We need to go on that quest, by the way, and get his uh, his sword. So um, and for now, I did. I normally don't do this. I don't know why. I guess I had uh, window shoppers envy. I did get the giant's knife. The sucker's breakable. Uh, it's nothing compared to the real uh, Goron sword. This has been a blast, a pleasure. Fire temple's behind us now. Next up, we have the water temple. So I'm really looking forward to doing that as well. Well, this has been episode nine. I thank you guys. Uh, probably do some more prequel work. A little bit of um, stuff in between the temples. Might handle it that way. That way, the, if I do it all in one, I mean, it'd be like these massively long. And nobody wants to watch something that long. I think. Um, but but that's to say that, you know, I can, uh, I can kind of take care of business. Show you quickly what I did. To get the necessary items to go to the next temple. So kind of the in-between stuff. Uh, running around the world and doing stuff. Anyway, and then Water Temple's next. Yeah, Water Temple. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. I think. Anyway, guys, you've been awesome. Thank you again for hanging out with me. This is Loud Boy. And you guys have a blessed evening. Thanks again. Bye. Bye.